This is quite a fascinating little question, this. So we need to solve for x, e to the power of log to the base pi of x equals pi to the power of log to the base e of x. OK, so first of all, a couple of uh, preliminaries. If we just look at the, uh, the graph of y equals log x, we will see uh, that uh, x is only defined. Uh, that's y equals log x. Uh, x is only defined for x greater than or uh, x greater than zero, not equal to zero. So we know that the solution to this must be uh, x is greater than zero. That's the first thing. OK, so the second thing, let's get on. And uh, as uh, uh, we have exponents here, the first thing to do really is we should take logs. Whether we take logs to the base pi or the base e doesn't really matter, but let's take them to the base e. Um, so we have to go here. So log to the base e, and let's, let's write it like that, log to the base e of e to the log to the pi x equals log to the base e of pi to the log to the base e of x. Okay, and now we can take the uh, uh, these out uh, of the log. So that'd be log to the base pi of x times log to the base e of e equals log to the base e of x times log to the base e of pi. And it's worth noting even at this point that e and pi are both constants. So log to the base e of pi is also a constant. OK, now log to the base e of e is just 1. So we have log to the base pi of x equals log to the base e of x times the constant log to the base e of pi. OK, now to solve this, we need to get the bases the same. Um, so we're going to use um, the, uh, the formula for changing the bases, which is log to the base a of x equals log to the base b of x over log to the base b of a. Um, and let's change the base pi into base e. So therefore, log to the base pi of x is equal to log to the base e of x over log to the base e of pi, just by applying this formula here, equals log to the base e of x times log to the base e of pi, i.e. moving this across log to the base e of x equals log to the base e of x times log to the base e of pi squared. OK, now in actual fact, we can, uh, we can solve this um, uh, by inspection now, but let, let's keep going anyway. So um, let's just rewrite this right-hand side here as log to the base e of pi squared times log to the base e of x, which also equals, just moving this up to the uh, exponent, log to the base e of x to the power of log to the base e of pi squared. So we have log to the base e of x equals log to the base e of x to the power of log to the e pi squared. Okay, so taking inverse logs, we have x equals x to the power of the constant log to the base e pi squared. Now the only solution to this, remember that log to the base e of pi squared is just a constant. The only solution to that, knowing that x is greater than zero, which we've already established, is x equals one. And that is the only solution to this. So before we move on to have a look at the graphs for anyone who's so interested, let's just plug in x equals one and see if it is correct. So let's put x equals one here. Well, log of one is zero to any base and e to the zero is one. So the answer to that is one. And pi, again, log of one is zero and pi to the zero is one. So indeed one does equal one. So x equals one is a solution to this equation. All right, so for those uh, who just want to know the answer, well, there it is, x equals 1. Um, for those who are more interested in, uh, in looking at the charts, it's, um, it's very, uh, very interesting. So let's first of all just have a look at the chart. y equals uh, a to the power of log to the power of a x. And I'm going to draw that, and everybody can draw it, actually, because it is that. Because uh, it's the same as y equals x. Uh, and if you don't believe me, let's just take logs of this to the power of uh, to the base a, so that's log to the base a of y equals, and then moving this one down, log to the base a of x times log to the base a of a, and log to the base a of a is 1, so log to the base a of y equals log to the base a of x, i.e. y equals x. So this here is the same thing as y equals x. Now what's quite fascinating is when a and a here, i.e. The, uh, the, this and, and this are equal, we get the straight line y equals x. Uh, now just for the next bit, let, let's just write these two down. Log to the base 2 of uh, 16 is 4, and log to the base 4 
of 16 is 2. The reason I write that is because you'll see that when you increase the base, the answer reduces. So in actual fact, if we look at this here, uh, or if we look at anything basically, uh, a to the power of log to the b x, as this increases, then a to the power of it reduces. And in actual fact, when we look at um, y equals e to the power of log to the pi x, because pi is about 3.1415 and e is about 2.718, pi is bigger than e, and so therefore this is going to look something along the lines of this. And it is actually going to go underneath y equals x. It's going to cross at the point 1, 1. We've already established x equals 1 is a, is a solution. So that is the, uh, the curve of y equals uh, e to the power of log pi uh, of x. Now, inversely, if we look at y equals pi to the power of log e of x, e is smaller than pi. And so therefore, this value is going to be bigger and we are going to find that y equals pi to the log ex is going to be exponential, looking something like that. So that is y equals pi to the log ex, and that is y equals e to the log pi x. And you can see they don't actually meet at zero, because we've already established that uh, uh, there is no value at x equals zero, but they only meet once at x equals one. Uh, and y, although y equals x splits them, it is not a reflection in the y equals x. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, anybody who's interested in seeing more like this, please uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.